I, I was trying to, uh, I think, give context to one of my furry hats. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, you are just, you know what? You are just, I said to Sylvia, I go, I don't know if this guy, you, know your value. Do you? It is like, it's so big. And when you're in it, you don't realize how big it is. And maybe it's just something that's going through me that makes me realize, like, I knew this from when I met you and we went through the first stuff we did. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so the opportunity. Yeah. Um, Nova and I are, are, and we have a potentially new software tool where we need a testing of it. And I was thinking that for the visionary hub that you're probably going to do some sort of big event around happiness, right? You got her. <laughs> yes, <gasps> of course we are. So I have a proposal for you. Okay. Next Sunday at two o'clock, you get mm -hmm. 12 people together mm -hmm. who are all going to be part of this, this event. Yeah. So, so it's event focused for you. Um, and then we can Easter take Sunday. What's that? Is that Easter Sunday oh, or Easter. the Sunday after? When is Easter Sunday? The fourth. April 4th is Easter Sunday. Oh, shoot. That's not good timing, is it? Yeah, no. Um, when would be good timing, you think? Well, I think like the Saturday, the 10th. Like, I don't think Easter weekend because Friday is good Friday. Right. We're doing a planning session on the 1st, like at the hub. We've got a lady coming in from Regina and we're doing a session on Friday, but only because her family lives here. So that's why she's coming. Okay. So I wonder if we could, so you said 10 people? Well, 12, we're actually gonna see if we can get 12 people in a, in a chat room. It's gonna be a chat oh, room. Oh, and, okay. and then what, and then it's gonna be a, like a way to sort of go through a seven week process mm -hmm. where you sort of come up with the idea for the group of what you're gonna do. I don't know if that, does that fit for you guys? Well, like if it's, if it's somebody linked into the hub, yes. Um, there's not that many of us yet linked into the hub and we're going to be really picky with who comes in as trainers through it. Right. I'm just wondering about like, let's say for your happiness event, you may have mm -hmm. a certain, like it doesn't have to be for the hub. It can be specific for an event. So you don't have. Okay. To then we could do the happiness project. Yeah. Okay. And then when were you thinking of doing the happiness project? Well, we didn't have a date like Candace and I, I, I think that's Candace. I just don't know if she knows that yet. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird. Isn't it Elijah when you just know the people that are, but sometimes it takes them a while to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. So you I could chat with her. Cause I think if we're going to do a happiness project, I think she's the right person to do it with me. And it'll maybe just funnel through the hub eventually. Okay. But for now, if her and I can round up 12 people. Because we were looking at like a, the seven step process and then having, let's say an hour a week where you come into this chat room and within the chat room, you figure out that step of the process. So it's, it's sort of like looking at bringing people together within a time frame where something specific has to come through and then what we're doing is when you put forward an idea there's like support little support mechanism there's sort of like little supports that you can put in so mm -hmm. we're testing a way to bring people together yep. and then each week would be a different conversation type and sort of like the crescendo would be really coming together and choosing that that idea that you're going to all center around but sort of go through a process to get everybody on board Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Like it could be Candace and I, because we've thought about the happiness project, but I mean, Sylvia, Kaylee, 
Christy, the girl that's going to be doing the training, she's, she's a mortgage broker, but her big thing is she can take, say you have an idea. She's brilliant. Her husband's a Red Seal chef, but they owned restaurants in Regina. They shut them down, wanted more family time. She can take an idea. You come to her with an idea. She'll help you turn it into a reality, your okay. dream into reality. So that's kind of what you're creating for people too, Elijah, is how can I make money without having to go to a freaking job every day and yeah. do the same thing? So I would include Christy, probably her mom who is HR at a canola crushing plant. I'm sure we could get 12. Okay, and, and we would need pictures of them because we're gonna have, their, everyone gets a little picture in the chat room. Okay. So, uh, a, a few days ahead, but what, what, so what time, what day are we looking at then? Well, I, I think, like I'm thinking a Saturday would be a good day, the 10th. Tenth. Okay. That's my thought. Like I'll have to talk to Candace because she works on Saturdays and I really want her there because to me, she's kind of that anchor to the happiness project. Right. Because we've done a map already with the happiness project. So okay. Okay, so then I guess we'll just wait to see you you can get back back yeah. to me. Yeah. So would it become one of those chat rooms? Well, it, it would be a methodology using the chat room and using the conversation types and okay. using a sort of a way to sort of put your support behind certain ideas. So it would be a way to sort of flush out all the ideas for the happiness project. Oh, perfect. And spend seven weeks doing it. Then once you've done it, you could do it with anything kind of thing. Okay. So one hour a week for seven weeks. Yeah. Okay. Remember when Kaylee and I did that training with you and you said, always do things in seven? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to round up 12 people. Yeah. We'll put the 10th down for now. Like if Sylvia and I are starting next week on the 6th. We're starting kind of conversation cafes over at the hub. Oh, awesome. We're only allowed to have 10 people in there right now, but we want to bring people together physically. So we have just did personal invitations and we've already got a full table for the sixth. Awesome. And we just, and Sylvia asked me, is there some type of mapping we could do? Is there some way we can guide the people through a process? And I go, well, I'm certain there is. Well, why don't you use your 12 table and then do the, do a spell. Like basically oh. what you do is you ask a question and everyone gets their question answered. Oh, okay. Like, like use that table that I have, right? Yeah. You got her. It'll be the start of the magic of what's that table called? Um, well, that's a 12 table. I mean, I guess you could call it a synergize. You could call it a harm. Well, I've got a harmonizer's nine, a synergizer's six, there. 12 people. You come up with a name. I, I'm out of I name. will. I will. <laughs> Okay, maybe we'll start with that then because Sylvia asked me, so we have recipe cards and we just get them to put a question, pull a choice lens and a values. Yeah, and then maybe what you could do is as a gift to them, you could have them all sign up to the remedy, uh, online remedy oracle, so then they can get one a day kind of thing. Oh, isn't that a great idea? You know, it's funny because so far it's all women. Yeah. It's just women are making more moves in self-improvement, aren't they? Much more so. Much okay. More. Okay. And I think to work with teams to, to, to do bigger things, I think it's, yeah. it's women yeah. that are leading the way for sure. You know, you never know who could come out of that meeting as well to be in our 12 for the happiness project. Yeah. Okay. Because that's, we have seven ladies plus Sylvia and I and Kaylee, because we're only allowed to have 10 people in the room. We just want it, you know, Elijah, all it is is to start getting people coming through to start feeling the space. For sure. For sure. When are you coming down? Um, like once COVID lets up a little bit? I think so. I mean, it's, it's sort of, you know, to think I'd like to go on a tour and sort of do a teaching tour and make myself yes. my way out there, but this COVID yeah. thing is just crazy. Right now it's kind of tough. Like you and we just there. have one of our tenants upstairs 
She's remember the yoga studio, the big classroom I said, yep. well, she's got the office, the space off there with big windows and stuff in it. She's moving out the end of April. So that whole side is opened up again. Oh, really? That's I know really it's cool. kind of cool. Well, I mean, I, I, I do have this desire to turn a space into a community communication center. So yeah. Um, sort of going with the flow on that, but yeah. But I mean, you might want that to be in BC, but so what? Everything can be so remote now, I know. right? And Why then not? we beam, beam me in, Scotty. Beam me in, Elijah. We're yeah. coming from all these satellites around, right? <laughs> so I, I need to get you that synergy wheel. Hopefully, I'll get that done ASAP. Okay, that'll be with Sylvia and I. Okay. And the reason I want it, we did a synergy. Oh, well, thank you. I'm really happy you're doing that because in our planning meeting, we were able to pull up the harmony map, which you had done so nice for us. Yes. And use the values off of there to put a feeling to people that come through the hub. Okay. So beautiful values, right? And when am I doing the choice? Well, we haven't picked. Oh, could we do it? I wonder, could we maybe do it this Thursday? Yeah. What's, what's the date on that? Is that the 5th? Yeah, Thursday is the... First. <laughs> oh, shit, we're already... So that's the, the 1st, April 1st. That's funny. <laughs> I know. So what time? Oh, no, we're in a planning meeting with that Christy girl at 10 a.m. So unless we could do it, how long will it take? An hour, maybe? What if we... St but that's too early for you, 8.30. No, I could do 8.30. Could you? Okay, let's do 8.30. 8.30 my time. Yeah, 8.30 your, no, 8.30 our time. That's 7.30 your time. Okay, I can do that. Does that work? Yeah. Okay, 8.30 to 9.30, and then we start our planning meeting at 10. So that's perfect if it takes a few minutes longer. You know what I liked? You know what I want to do? Like we incorporated the hub. Of course, we don't have any money yet in it, but we incorporated Elijah so it stays separate from our personal selves. And Sylvia and I are going to run the hub. Okay. Then people will come in and do whatever they want to do through it, right? Right. So, okay. And I just wanted to make sure, like you saw our synergy map, you saw the values, you saw the harmony. And I want to see Sylvia and I, I mean, we probably should have done this before we incorporated 50-50. It doesn't matter. She's a beautiful lady. She's Lindsay's mom. Right. No. Right. I so imagine. we know she's, okay. And in the meantime, we'll find 12 people and probably find some on the six that we can add to it. So we have to have 12. I love your idea of using that 12 map. Yeah. That, oh my gosh, that's a fabulous idea. And if you, and when would you be doing it? Because I should probably send you, let's say, an, a, sort of an agenda of, of what okay. you sort of take them through. For the, do you want to do, maybe we should be doing that before the sixth and go through a process with that with Sylvia rather than us doing a flow and a choice map. Why don't we do that? Okay. We'll put that map on the table and then you can take Sylvia and I through the process of that whole map and that gives us an outline for what we wanna do with our focus groups. Okay. Because Elijah, we're going to be very picky this time. Last time we did our stuff and Peg Beaton had found a bunch of people. Every single one of them dropped out. Yeah. Like right away. So, and now Rochelle texted me the other day and she had her values cards there. Remember Rochelle Burns? Yeah. She texted me and said, asked if she could get her cards back. Uh -huh. They were just in the center, right? There's just to use there. She asked for them back. Very nice. So she's been a little bit distant and I don't know if it's because her and Peg are friends. And I mean, Peg, Peg took us for what, 40 grand? I was, I, that was a totally unexpected. Yeah. But okay. I'm very trusting. Yeah, that was, that was ouch. Yeah. But Elijah, I, I'm, I'd rather be trusting and then, you know what, you lose my trust, then goodbye, than just not trusting and not trying. Right. Well, I think it's a balance, right? I mean, I think yeah. we have our intuition and, and our senses of people and then discernment is always good. Yeah. So, okay, we'll do the round table with the four elements in it. I'm going to, we're going to find a name for that because we're going to call it the conversation cafe at the hub. Okay. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, 
So how much how much do you want me to send you for that? Um, for which part? When we do that round table map that I have. Oh, well, I think I'm still at 100 an hour, so. Okay. That works. So what I wanna do is if you can have in mind the purpose of taking Sylvia and I through it is so that we can guide people through it as they come in. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, you might have to have 12, if you don't have 12 people because of COVID rules, so someone, someone puts two questions. Yeah. For now. Oh, no, it'll be fine. Oh, that's perfect. She just said to me on Sunday, is there any way, Lori, we could guide people through a map when we do this focus group? And I go, I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah, no, and I think it's a good way. And then they understand the process. Then you give them the online version. That's the beginning of sort of bring them into the idea of, of the convo types. And right. Because I think if you focus on communication as, as one of the main things in the hub, yeah, that's, that's what people want, right? They want that's exactly. And once COVID's over, communication in person is going to be key. Huge, huge. You know, I kept writing down on the weekend the hub factor. Um, I don't know what it means. And I put it out there to Sylvia and Kaylee. And I go, the hub factor. And Kaylee goes, Well, in what context? I said, the hub factor. Like I want you to think outside the box, right? Well, she's only 20, so. <laughs> But it, it takes a creative mind to just go, what could the hub factor mean? And what could it? Well, it immediately has you think of the wheel, has you think about, you know, the place that everything revolves around. Yes. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it too. Like, it, it, I mean, our place is called the visionary hub, but the hub factor could be when we do that map or something like that. What? That's a hub. That's got a hub in the center. Right. With all the yeah. spokes to... Oh, what if we call that the hub factor? Okay. Okay. The hub factor, communication, con conversations, communi yeah. con conversations, yeah. something like that. Okay, so we're done. Oh, this is so perfect. I wrote down a quote today, but I just want you, I just want to read it to you. Okay. Okay, it says, until you make unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Ah. Isn't that, Carl Jung, isn't that freaking powerful? I think when you make a conscious design for what you want, then that becomes destiny. Exactly. The ideal job, the ideal whatever it be. Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you at 8.30 on Thursday. If it can be Wednesday, can I send you a note on Facebook Messenger? Um, I may, I may have usually Wednesday mornings that time I, I'm with Luciel, so. Well, no, it wouldn't be Wednesday morning. We're thinking Wednesday afternoon. Okay, no, that would be okay. Did that work? Yeah. Okay, I'll send you a note because Sylvia's here today, but she's working. She, her last day is tomorrow okay. and mine is Wednesday. Okay, wow, that's huge. Elijah, they gave me an exit because when we signed the agreement, I was going to work with them for one year till the end of August. Right. The owner came down, he gave me a letter, they bought me a watch, a necklace, and they said, we think we think these guys are good now to go on their own. So they exited me on the 30-day exit. Oh, nice. Isn't that powerful? <laughs> like, I, went, I wanted to exit in May anyway, because I just don't want to be here all the time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll be here, but I'm in the hub. Right. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Elijah. And yes, I love the happiness project and bringing 12 people together. Fantastic. Super. Okay. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Much love. Bye. Have a great day.